how to optimize the Poco X3 Pro running MIUI for gaming without having to root your device. Hey peeps, what's up? Panchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can optimize your Poco X3 Pro running MIUI for gaming without having to root your device. Now, for full disclosure, I do have the international variant of the Poco X3 Pro, but the tips and tricks which I show you in this video will work on any variant of the Poco X3 Pro, which does include the Indian variant. Another thing, I do make custom ROM videos. So my device right now is bootloader unlocked and I also have Magisk installed, but I do not have any Magisk module or anything like that installed for gaming next up all the relevant links all the applications whatever we are using in this video are linked in the description of the video and i do highly recommend that you read the pinned comment as well first thing you need to do is you need to remove the bloatware which can be removed so sometimes out of the box you get applications like facebook which can be uninstalled so go ahead and uninstall them if you can then there will be certain applications which are system apps and you cannot remove them but you do not use them either so let us take the example of me browser in fact i am getting the option to uninstall me browser so let us go ahead and uninstall that so that was our example of removing applications which can be removed next up let us say you have the me video application which also comes baked in but say i do not use this now in this case i'm getting the option of uninstall updates so i'm not getting the option of removing the application as a whole in this case what do you need to do in this case you need to debloat it and the best part is with android 11 you can use an application called ladb to debloat or freeze applications which you do not use without having to root your device all you need is an active wi-fi connection on your device and again the video on how to debloat and of course what all applications you can debloat links for all of those can be found in the description of this video next thing we need to do is we need to enable a few toggles in developer options so go into settings about phone all specs here and tap on the miui version seven times it will give you a message you are now a developer in case you have a pin or password setup you might have to enter that and before i get questions about is enabling developer options harmful for my device no it is not harmful next up settings main page go into additional settings scroll down new option developer options here and scroll down and make a few changes so here it is we are in the drawing section this three options window animation scale i recommend you change them to animation off and then scroll down some more you will have hardware accelerated rendering in this section enable the force 4x msaa and disable hardware overlays all of these settings need to be done and something which might be super irritating but needs to be done is every time you reboot your device these settings will go back to what they were so you have to change or enable the toggles and disable the animation scale every time you reboot your device developer options will still remain enabled so i don't know whether the flags getting reset is a xiaomi issue or a google issue but it is what it is next thing before every gaming session go into security here and you will find something called cleaner this is going to clean our device and it gives you the options which can be performed now in my case i already executed the cache clean but if you have something in the cache this option will be checked so make sure you clean the cache packages i just uncheck it because these are some apks which i use regularly in case you have apks which you do not use already installed them feel free to remove those as well and for residuals and memory i leave these checked and same applies for these obsolete files and cache files which are not there right now but if they are there i leave the option checked and say clean up so that is done right next thing we need to install an application now 
best part this application is available in the google play store as well i have just downloaded the apk so that it is easy for me to install it and this application is called netguard now before you ask me what is netguard netguard is a firewall and the best part is it is free so nothing to do here it is application is there let us open it it will ask for some permissions say i agree on these options select ok for all of them then three dot menu on the top right go into settings here and go into advanced options enable the toggle for manage system apps and now we can go back and this is the home screen and you will now notice that system apps are showing up over here as well so you have the backup bluetooth all these options are showing up over here but before that we need to make some adjustments so open the application info and here and go into battery saver you will notice that the battery saver is set as me why we don't want that we want no restrictions for this one why because this is our firewall and we are going to configure it so let us open the application one more time now you need to say you are gaming right and then in the background you have whatsapp syncing gmail syncing facebook syncing all these things eating up data slowing down the device so what do we need to do well let us say you have something called chrome tap on this wi-fi icon it is now red similarly tap on this while you're playing with mobile data it is now red now chrome will not be able to access data in the background for that make sure you enable the master toggle on the top it is going to say it is going to set up a local vpn select ok connection request select ok now let us say i go into chrome and try to open wikipedia bam it's not going to open why because my firewall is running in the background and it is blocking this so this way you can block it for whatever applications you feel in the background are going to you know try to sync and get data from the internet because we want our internet to be free of any other applications only our gaming application should be using it so similarly if i go back into the application now and disable the toggle and try to open wikipedia bam there it is it is now working like a boss next and the last tip is about game turbo so go into security here and you might see a banner for game turbo if you don't see it you should see the option so here it is game turbo now i have added a minute settings editor application to it but that is not the point let us open it and here it is game was boosted successfully on the left hand side you might see something of a floating transparent bar i am using the old version in case you're using the new version you'll have a different ui let us go into settings and again my home screen orientation is set as vertical because it is just easy for me to see it and show it off but if you have the horizontal orientation the options will still be the same just that the ui will be a bit different so for starters game turbo toggle needs to be enabled in game shortcuts need to be enabled uninstall games we are not here to remove any games home page orientation personal preference as is the option for home screen shortcut let us go into performance mode so make sure all these three toggles are enabled they're going to optimize your wi-fi optimize the touch controls and you get awesome great audio then performance optimization so this is one toggle which needs to be used super intelligently and super diligently so let us say you are gaming and your phone was kept away or off for a few hours and you just started gaming then you can turn this toggle off why because we want the maximum performance out of our game out of our cpu out of our gpu and say after two hours the phone starts heating up a little you notice some lags right you go into game turbo options from within the game and enable this because this is now going to avoid overheating because you don't want your phone to overheat either right if cpu gpu device is overheating it's gonna throttle don't want that either so this is one option which again you need to use based on the current situation and the circumstances then memory exceptions here and make sure you add net card why because when you clear memory from within game turbo we do not want net card to be killed why because this is our firewall this is something which is making our internet free and of good speed for the game so we don't want this to be killed in the background and of course any other apps let us say you want whatsapp not to be killed you can add 
that as well but make sure that net card is added to the memory exception then you have enhanced experience so here and again personal preference but i prefer to keep all these toggles enabled i don't want the brightness to go low while i am gaming turn off reading mode yep do not want reading mode to be enabled either similarly for your gestures about screenshot and notification shade again these are super useful for those of you who are playing with the claw setup right three finger screenshot not gonna get activated similarly you, you know tapping or say swiping down for some reload or something notification shade opens super irritating not going to happen if you have all these options enabled next thing of course restrict the buttons and gestures as well so you know when you swipe up you do not say accidentally go to your home screen in the middle of fighting a close battle then you have additional settings so additional settings is something wherein you can customize on a per game basis and this is like super impressive let us say i go into this game right and herein everybody has a different tap tap speed or different touch pressure so everybody is unique which is why you have something called touch response and sensitivity to continuous taps these are sliders which again you have to configure based on your personal feedback and your personal usage remember when you're playing bgmi pubg you have the option of controlling the sensitivity within the game as well so again make sure that you do configure this and it will of course vary from user to user what is best for me might not be best for you similarly for the touch resistant area right you can configure this now let us say out of the box the game is configured with say large and these two corners over here are touch resistant what if i have some buttons over here if i press them in game i will feel that oh the touch is not working well maybe just maybe go ahead and check the touch resistant area and in case you do have buttons in the corners set it as none and for enhanced visuals again this i think is more of a visual thing me personally i like to leave it as original because my thought process is that you know i don't want the trees to look beautiful or the grass to look beautiful or the smoke to look beautiful right i want maximum performance so i generally leave this as original but then again if you want things to look beautiful you can of course change this and you have the optimization and the settings available and there it is peeps those were the super special tips and tricks which might help you get the maximum performance out of me UI and optimize it for gaming on your poco x3 pro without having to root it and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you